What's up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Blaze. Today, we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, before we start the video, hopefully you guys are having a very, very good day today. So today, oh, before I begin, I do want to say a very, very special thank you to all you people who liked the video on my reaction. It is currently on fire. You guys are destroying the like button. And as well, we have passed 400 subscribers, which I am very, very thankful for because the family is growing. So hopefully, maybe we can get, we still have enough time, maybe we can get very close to 500 subs by the five here now today's topic is going to be more for the average dokkan player it's going to be more who you should summon for with your stones here should you summon on the gogeta banner or on the vegeto banner now the reason why i'm making this video is because even though you have a lot of stones saved up on your account it does not guarantee you're going to pull both units now if you take an example if you look at the the homie gaming with talon it actually took him 2,000 stones to pull his first copy of Vegito Blue. So again, it's I mean it's very, very hard to summon on these banners. Now I do have a JP account as well. And honestly, I had a lot of luck pulling Vegito Blue, but Gogeta actually took me 2,000 stones as well to pull my first copy. So this will be more for the average Dogon player because I believe if you've been saving your stones, you should be close to maybe 3,000 stones if you haven't been summoning, but maybe it'll be around 2,000 stones, right? So this is my opinion, basically let you guys know which banner you should summon first, then go for second. Um, but again, I mean, the, the the right answer, right, for this is that you have to go for both banners. But again, depending if you're a whale or not, I would recommend go for one banner first, then you go for the second one. Also, I do want to note that there is no right or wrong in this game. You can do whatever you want, however you want with your stones. Um, but again, just the main point is to have fun. And hopefully, I hope you guys pull all these LRs, all right? So... Before I make my decision and tell you guys which banner you should go for, we're going to take a look at the details of the banners and then the characters and then we'll just base it off that and then we'll see which banner you should summon for. So the first banner we're going to look at is the Gogeta banner. Now the Gogeta, actually both banners are very, very good. I want to make that very, very clear. They're both very good. So the Gogeta banner, these are the featured characters. So of course we have the new LR Gogeta and we have the new Bardock and Gine. Now. Bardock is a fantastic unit as a support. Uh, his active skill does allow you to increase allies attack for two turns. So again, the current rotation and the next rotation are going to have the passive of Bardock and Gine. Now of course you have the LR Gogeta who's again very very good. And then you have the LR Cell. Now LR Cell is one of the kings of Super Battle Road. He's, before when he came out he was very underrated. Um, but as time grew by and you guys got to use him in Super Battle Road, again, he becomes very, very good. Now, Super Battle Road is one of the categories that are the hardest events in this game here. Uh, way harder than, than the Legendary Goku event, but again, all depends where you are. But this unit, he's very, very good. So if you do summon on his banner and you do pull LR Cell, do not be mad. He's very, very good for the upcoming Super Battle Road. Now, we do have the also the Gogeta, the LR Physical Gogeta, who is also very, very good till this day. Uh, it's just that their transformation is outdated because, uh, again, it's very, very restrictive. But you know what? They're still very, very good. And we also have here the AGL Gogeta and the Physical Broly from the Dragon Ball Super movie. Now, these two units are, again, also very, very good. Also, from a standpoint from a uh, new player, this is also very, very good for yourself as well. Because, again, I mean, out of the two, Gogeta is better. The reason why is because when he transforms, he has a guaranteed crit. And he has a high chance of dodging, which is incredible. Very, very good. Um, and then you have Broly, who's just a complete monster house. He just completely attacks nonstop. Um, but you do need some crits for him to be very, very good. So that's why I say, if you pull, I mean, that's why I say AGL, uh, Gogeta is better than Broly. Because at 55%, you have that dodge, you have the additional attack, and then you have guaranteed crits. So, I mean, AGL, Gogeta is still very, very good to this day. Now, we do have the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He's still very, very good, uh, but he's a little bit outdated as well, but he's still doing big, big numbers on his category. Um, but he's still very good for Super Battle as well. Now, we do have Omega Shenron. Omega Shenron, you, I mean, this guy is really, really good. He's one of my favorite units in this game. The reason why is because he does lower attack by 40%, and he's a support type for full power, which gives, I think, 40% attack and defense, which is, like, completely disgusting, right? If you pair him up with LR Goku and Frieza and you don't have TN, if you have Omega Shenron, he'd be very, very good. But one of the main key components why you want this unit is because you are going to need him for Super Battle Road. Super Battle Road, the extreme type version, is not a joke. 
and this guy will make it like a piece of cake. Now we do have these other two units. We do have Gogeta and we have In Janemba. In Janemba is still very, very good as an easy A. He's probably still top 10 easy A's to this day because he's actually very, very good. This is In Gogeta, not so good. Not so good. But I mean, today we just got the information that, I mean, the Tech Broly uh, is going to be the first 120 lead that's going to get his easy A. So this Gogeta, you will have to hang on to him because, I mean, till now, he's still good, but if you're still new to the game, even if you're about, what, five months into this game, you're most likely going to have SCR Gogeta, and he's just way better than this in Gogeta. So, I mean, that's my take on it, right? So you do have also the other cards here who are just SR cards. Uh, not the greatest, not the greatest, but again, the banner is still very, very good. And now we're going to look at the Vegito banner. So the Vegito banner is also very very good this trunks here the agl trunks is really really good especially for super battle road they do have that active skill where they do increase their attack for one turn uh, let's just look at it very very quickly is it how much is it it is where's his passive i'm pretty sure he has a pass oh here you go you have to awaken him first so his passive where's his active skill there you go so he raises attack by 628 percent for one turn uh basically he does a a guaranteed crit and he stuns the enemy i won't go too much in de into detail about this card but again this card is very 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 good all right so do not sleep on it so i'm gonna go back on the vegeto banner here now you do have this lr gohan lr gohan is a very good card here reason why he's very good because he's one of the units sorry that's on almost every category especially the new category that drop on jp he is on it which i believe is called all out or maybe desperate battle or desperate fight Something like that, but um, LR Gohan is one of these units. He's very, very good. Not so good for Super Battle Road, but he's on every single category, so you guys could get very creative with this unit. Now, you do have the LR Vegeta, the Int one, who's also very, very good. I find he's a bit more better than the Gogeta. Reason why is because when he super attacks, he does become a support unit for attack wise, and also he has built in counters, which is really, really good. Now, you also have Trunks and Zamasu. Now, this is a big game changer. Uh, the reason why is because for new players, because there's always new players every single day, this is going to help you tremendously. These two units here, the reason why is because not only do they have their only, their only, sorry, their own lead category, where Trunks is Future Saiga and Zamasu is Realm of Gods, but they also help out uh, Extreme Class and Super Class. So for Trunks, he's going to be super class, where it's HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. I mean, 120%, sorry. And Zamasu is the opposite, where it's basically extreme class, HP, attack, and defense, and key plus 3, I forgot about that, for um, all extreme class allies. So again, these two units are very, very good. Um, and especially if you guys haven't been able to pull them on their own banner, which was about, I think, back in January? I think it was back in January or December, right? Um, now here's your chance to pull these units and these guys are very very good um, You do have the merge Amasu, the tech easy a merge Amasu, who's very very good He's a hard hitting unit and he's also also a support unit for uh, Extreme class so again, that's very very good and then we have of course we have this behemoth this disgusting easy a the best easy a in this game till this day um, The Vegito blue again if you're new to this game or if you're someone who's been playing the game and You don't have in rainbowed you definitely want to get you a copy of this. Now, the only thing that's pretty bad in this banner here is going to be these last two units. I mean, Super Boo is not that bad um, because he is the leader for transformation boost. Now, fortunately, if you guys did not know, Global did get shafted by not having Cooler on the Beerus banner. So, I mean, I guess he's going to be a replacement. I don't think he's going to be replaced with Cooler in this banner because it'll be way too one-sided if they do. Uh, and then you have this Vegito. Now this Vegito is not my favorite card. He's one of my least favorite cards to be honest. Um, because his leader skill is just really not that great. And he takes forever to build up. So he's not one of my favorite units. But again, he's still okay. So this is the banner here. So if we compare the banner here, uh, well, you'll notice that there's three SR cards here on the Gogeta banner. And then there's actually only one SR card in this, in this banner for Vegito. So that's something you have to take into consideration. Now let's look into the card details of the LRs. Now I'm not going to over go over their base form because it's, it's almost exactly the same thing. So their transformation happens after the fourth turn. So for Gogeta, he is the last resort or fusion category. Key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. Plus 
His 12 key, which is the Stardust Fall, um, raise attack and defense for one turn, causes sorry, causes colossal damage to the enemy. And then his 18 key, which is the Meteor Explosion, very, very good. Probably the top best animation in this game, besides the LR Vegeta and, Go and uh, Goku. Um, his 18 key raises defense for one turn, causes mega, sorry, mega colossal damage to the enemy. And then his passive attack and defense plus 77% at the start of turn, key plus 5. That key plus 5, most of the time, because I do have these guys on my JP account, you are like a good 90% of the time going to have his 18 key, because it's just so, so good at that key plus 5. He does launch an additional attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 7%, but each attack perform up to 77% and effective against all types as the first or second attack in a, in a, in a turn. Sorry. So, again, Gogeta is very, very good. Unfortunately, he doesn't have that guaranteed additional, but he does have an additional and he's super effective against all types. Um, he does launch an additional super attack and with a high chance of, of dodging, basically, which is a 50% chance if he's in the third slot so you can play around with that by the way um again he does get that guaranteed additional but he's not super effective so that does play a factor right because gogeta is known to be super effective against all types now his active skill is the ultimate kamehameha so greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to the enemy can be activated when facing only one enemy whose hp is 50 percent or less starting from the next attacking turn so this gogeta again his, his uh, active skill is meant to completely destroy any unit when their, when their HP is below 50%. It's supposed to be like a finisher, right? Just like in the movie. So again, very, very good. Uh, his category. So he's on fusions, Realm of Gods, Transformation Boost, Movie Heroes, Kamehameha, and Last Resort. So that gives us six categories for Gogeta. Again, Gogeta is one of the best units in the game here. I pretty much have, I pretty much have him neck and neck with Vegito Blue. Uh, so let's check out his details here. So for Vegito Blue, right? So his category is Last Resort as well, or Potara category, which is key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense, plus 150%. Uh, his 12 key is the Vegito Sword, so basically raise attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage to the enemy, and his 18 key is going to be Omega Finish Blow, which is like <laughs> pretty insane. I didn't even know that was his name until today. So he does raise defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. His passive almost very similar. Raise attack and defense plus 77% at the start of turn. Key plus two. So that key plus two does make a difference. But again, every attack he does, he gets a key plus one. So you're almost, I'm gonna say a good 80% compared to Gojo, who's like a 90%. 80% of the time you are gonna get off his 18 key. So, um, yeah, he does launch an additional super attack, plus a key plus one, attack and defense plus 7%, with each attack perform up to 5 key, and attack and defense up to 77% as a first or second attacker in a turn. So, Gogeta, after his first attack, he has a guaranteed super attack. Uh, his 12th key, by the way, does raise attack and defense. So, again, that's very, very good, very, very consistent. Uh, when he's in the third slot, basically, he has a high chance of dodging because he still becomes... He still has a chance of super attacking uh, that second attack, so it's still guaranteed no matter what. Uh, his final Kamehameha has basically the same restrictions as Gogeta, so you can only use it when the opponent has 50% HP or less, and starting from the next turn. So, uh, again, very, very good. So, his category is Realm of Gods, Potara, Future Saga, Transformation Boost, Time Travelers, Kamehameha, and The Last Resort. So, this one here shows you that, I mean, Vegito has one extra category uh, compared to Gogeta. Now, looking at the car here itself, I'm not gonna say one's better than the other, like officially, because thing is that Gogeta, he's super effective, right? Uh, he does have that guaranteed additional attack, but it's not a guaranteed super attack compared to Vegito. Now, Vegito, you, based on my experience, Vegito is a bit better, just a tiny bit better. The only thing that does save him is that additional guaranteed super attack. That really what seals the deal. Reason why, because if you had this character at 55%, he's gonna be much more impressive compared to Gogeta. Now Gogeta does have that chance to have that guaranteed additional super attack, but you have to put him on the third slot, which is not ideal. Because you do want to play this character as much as possible. So in my opinion, I say that Vegito is a bit better only because of that guaranteed additional super because again 
he does raise attack and defense on his 12 key super so the numbers are going to look a bit better on Vegito. Now technically, again, Gogeta does hit harder, but I mean it's all based on RNG where I prefer Vegito because he's much more consistent. Now if we look at the banner here, um, hands down Vegito's banner is, is better than Gogeta's in my opinion. Because again, we have what? We have only one SR as a featured, and then this one has three featured SRs. So not the greatest. Um, and as well as that, the characters on the Gogeta banner aren't as versatile, I would say, right? I mean, if you look at the Vegito banner, you the one, the two units that really stand out is going to be um, Zamasu and Trunks. Those two units are so versatile because of their leader skill. Uh, where they basically become a 120 lead for either extreme or for super class. So again, that's very, very good, especially for new players. Gohan, he's a very good investment. He's, he's one of the characters. Well, he's the only character that has the most categories for his card. And on top of that, this banner does have Vegito Blue. Now, this could change, but Vegito Blue is the best EZA compared to this banner here, right? I mean, you do have Broly. You do have the AGL. Gogeta, but I mean, it's just the easy is just so much better right now. Uh, I, I guess it's time. I guess time is showing the ages of these cards. Like for example, in Gogeta, I mean, we're not gonna get his easy anytime soon because I'm pretty sure JP's gonna get it first. So again, the banner is looking better for Vegito. Now, one thing as well, um, why I'd say you'd better go for Vegito is because of the category. Now, the fusion category is good but it's not great even with this LR the reason why is because we are missing support compared to the um, Potara the Potara has way more support I mean the Potara is just way better than the fusion category because of support and we also we have Kefla as well now if we look at the fusion category the support units the only one that really stands out to me is gonna be Pandel that's about it and Pandel only gives 30% attack to all allies, which is not the... I mean, it's good, right? But it's not something that's really needed because the... I mean, the fusion category, right? What they really lack is basically defense. Uh, and we do need a de defensive support. Nothing comes to mind for a defensive support for the fusion category. But if there's a unit that does, guys, comment down below. But I mean... If you have Vegito, I mean, the options of support are just way, way better, right? I mean, you have here this Vegito, AGL, now he's only on JP for now. But we also have the Tech Vegito, who's a good support. Uh, he gives attack and defense plus 30%, so again, very, very good. You also have the Supreme Kai of Time. Now, she could be used as well for Gogeta, but I mean, as far as category itself, Potara, I mean, she's just... She's just like the best support unit in this game here. Uh, besides that, we also have here Gowasu. Now, Gowasu is very good as a defense unit uh, because, again, the Potara hits so very hard. I mean, we do need defense. And basically, I mean, Gowasu gives you 70% defense to all allies, which is, again, really, really good. You could still use this for Gogeta and Realm of Gods. But again, as far as the category itself, I mean, Potara is just way, way better right now. And it's a shame that Fusion doesn't have that many support units. And even to that, we do have here uh, Supreme Kai West, right? Where she gives attack and defense plus 40%. So again, the support is just really pouring onto Potara. Uh, it is a better category than Fusions, unfortunately. Because I am more a Gogeta fan than Vegito. But I mean, as far as gameplay, it seems like Potara is better than, than Fusion. So... Um, as my decision, I would say that the way things are going, unless the game changer that would make, I mean, a huge difference if they decide to put Cooler on this banner. If they do, then it's going to be very, very hard which banner which you should summon on. But as far if things do not change on this banner, because you never know, I would say that the banner you should use your stones on first, then go to the second one, is the Vegito banner. Uh, again, depends all where you are in this game here, but if you're an average Dokkan player, if you're someone that's new, then you definitely want to go for this banner here. It's, I think it's much more worth your stones. Because um, again, I mean, these ones are still very, very good, but as far as long term, um, this banner is going to be way, way better. Especially LR Gohan, because again, he's on so many banners. So for new players, it's going to give you a chance to experiment and see where you can go with this character. 
Uh, so that's my two cents here. So let me know what you guys think here. Um, and also, I want, I want to wish you guys good luck on your summons. Um, hopefully, you guys pull every single unit. I hope you guys pull the LRs. And hopefully, your boy still has the five-year luck to pull these units here. All right? So that's my two cents. Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys are new, if you guys did enjoy that video, make sure you hit the like button. Sub for more videos. And uh, let me know what you guys think. So comment down below. And I also want to say thank you for watching my videos. If you guys have not subbed yet, that's okay. Hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. And again, thank you for watching my videos. And I catch you all on the next one. Peace!